Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can already tell by the title above, I'm going to be trying Kim Kardashian West's makeup line for the very first time. It is now in stores at Ulta, which is where I got some of the things, but then she had a birthday sale on her website, and so I got a bunch more things. So I just wanted to try it on camera with you guys. That way, if you guys end up liking it, you guys can just walk to the store, drive to the store, whatever, and grab some of her products. I know Black Friday is coming up, and they always have really good deals, so you could also go on her website and guys is my shirt like kind of ratchet or what because my best friend and my boyfriend both are like oh, why did you buy this shirt one word drea this is her clothing line called fine ass girls and like i thought it was really cute but i can also see where they think it's like ugly like really ugly but it was one of those like can't sleep in the middle of the night it's like 1 a.m you're browsing and you see something like kind of cute and you just impulse buy it that was me and so now i can't return it so let me know what you guys think do you guys think this is cute do you think i should just trash it give it away just don't judge me i just need to address it before everyone was like are you wearing it? Back to Kim Kardashian West. I have a lot of her makeup. I have her contour sticks, highlights, and bronzer. I have her powder bronzer, baking powder, her blush, and her highlight. I have her concealer, lipstick, and a lip liner. So a lot to be able to do almost a full face. For my base, I'm gonna have to use something completely different. I am just gonna fast forward through that part. As soon as I'm done, we will go right into these contour sticks. All right guys, so I am back. I have my foundation on, brows, lashes. The first product that I'm gonna use is actually the contour stick. I got it in medium cream one. This is what it looks like. This is the color. I'm going to go ahead and kind of smells like crowns. I actually really like this color. I like more of like a orangey bronzy contour it glides so easy on the face it does not pull my skin nothing like that i'm gonna blend it out with this small stippling brush from elf and we'll see how it blends oh, wow Wow, that blended so fast. And it's a really good color. If I wanted a deeper contour, I would probably go a shade up. This is like a perfect, like, natural contour color. Contour, bronzy color, whatever. If you watch my channel, you know I don't really contour. I mostly just bronze. You can see it's like blending out so quick. Like that was like three strokes and it was done. Like I made one round over it and it was already bronzed me up. It blends so seamlessly. Like it blends even better than my Chanel. It gives my face just enough warmth without making me look... Like I'm orange. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the highlighting stick. I also got this in medium one. Go down my nose, a little bit on my chin. I don't know how much cover this coverage this is. I know it's good for like highlighting. I'm going to buff it out with a brush again. And I'm going to be using the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill. This is a brush um, that they said is like amazing for all creams, liquids, anything like that. Ooh. Blend it out pretty good. It's not 
I don't feel like it's as creamy as like the contour was. I feel like I'm a little bit dry underneath my eyes. It still looks really pretty. These colors definitely go hand in hand. I do want to try blending it with a beauty blender as well just to see if there's one that looks better than the other. It is not blending very good with the Beauty Blender. So I'm just gonna stick with the brush. It also might be because I took a pause, like a five minute pause, to take a cover picture. And so that may be the reason why it like set into my skin already. It wasn't as creamy as the bronzer. It's still really pretty on the skin. The colors look great together. So even though we use the highlighting stick, I'm gonna go ahead and try the concealer as well. This is the KKW Beauty Conceal. I got the number five. Chose this number based on the swatches that I saw and also by the description. Packaging is really cute. I think this is plastic, but it feels like a heavier plastic. It's not really light. And then this really cute mauve pink top. Probably could have gone a little bit darker. So I'm gonna blend this out with my Beauty Blender. Oh wow. It's definitely brightening, wow. And it blends so easily. I mean, you guys saw that. It definitely gave a lot more coverage than just the highlighting stick, for sure. I want to blend the right side of my face with a brush. So I feel like with the brush, I have a lot more control on where the product goes. This side I feel like looks better than this side because you can see like it's so dragged down. But on this side, I still have that lifted effect. So we are done with the creams, the liquids. It looks flawless. So I'm going to go ahead and set with the Brighten in the shade 1. I feel like I should have gotten shade 2. I feel like in the viewfinder, my under eyes look really, really bright. But in my mirror, it looks like perfect. Like I don't look super highlighted. It's like the perfect match. So it's really cute. It looks like this. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger looking in pictures, but it's a lot smaller. This is it in comparison of my palm. And here's another comparison with my MAC Studio Fit. So it's pretty teeny. For this brightening setting powder, I'm actually going to use this Morphe brush. There's like no fallout. I just like tapped all over it. Like I have Kim Kardashian skin now. And you do see that it diffused it a little bit, but it's still very bright underneath my eyes. My viewfinder just makes everything so dramatic. Like, I'm not this light. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna set it with my MAC Studio Fix, nothing new. Just gonna put a light coat. I'm gonna set the bronzer with the powder contour. For this one, I got the shade eight because like one through six were all taken and sold out. I don't think it'll be too dark. I don't think I will have to use very much of it either. It looks like a pretty nice color. Some of the like in-between shades, like 7, 6, 
a couple of them were really ashy kind of pink so I wasn't gonna get those shades anyways I think five was the shade that I was originally gonna get but it sold out as soon as I was trying to put it in my basket so I ended up getting this because this was the next warmth shade all the other ones were very like I said not my tone I definitely can get away with this shade with a light hand. If I went any heavier, I would look crazy. I have this powder blush. It's from the Smoky collection. It's the number one. This is the shade. It's called Lux. It's really pretty. Kind of reminds me of Melba from MAC, which is uh, like my favorite blush ever. This one has a little bit more fallout, but not much. Ooh. I love the color. It's it's very sheer and sheen. It's pigmented, but not too pigmented. It's almost like a how a liquid tint would be. It's very pigmented, but once you blend it out, it's pretty sheer. And then we're going to go ahead and brush this off. I don't like to bake for too long. It's a lot better. My contour isn't as all over the place. It's a lot more cleaned up. The actual last face product that I have is the powder highlight. This is called Glitz and Glam, and it's also part of the Smoky Collection. It is in the same packaging as everything else. To me, this is really aesthetically pleasing. The only thing is that if I look straight at them like this, I don't know which one's which, but... All of her products feel like really not super, super luxurious as if it was glass, but it does not feel cheap at all. It feels very well made. It feels heavy. So we're going to go ahead and go in with Glitz and Glam with my Anastasia highlighting brush. There's no fallout at all with this product. Yep. I already know I'm going to like it. It's really like a creamy highlight. I haven't been into extreme highlighting lately. I like a subtle glow because I find a lot of highlights lately have been making me feel really chalky and gritty and I don't feel like it glides on smoothly anymore. And so with this one, I feel like it's going on like butter. Kind of reminds me of the highlighter from The Balm. Take a little bit and put it on my nose and some on my inner corners. This is what my face looks like with all the products on top. I feel like I look so like glowy and healthy. That could be just my foundation and primer though. I feel like everything looks so good on top. I love the color of the contour stick and the contour powder. Like this may be my go-to right now. I love a good cream contour. I've been using the Wet n Wild one, but it's not as creamy as this. I still love it, but this is like on another level of butter and like silky. Not even saying this because it's Kim Kardashian because I told you the highlight didn't blend as well as the bronzer, but like look at my face. I'll come even closer. You can literally see there's no bump. My face looks so healthy and smooth. Like, okay, Kim. But last but not least, I'm gonna try the lip liner. I got the lip liner in Nude 1.5. I saw a lot of people use Nude 2, but I feel like for me, it was just a little bit too dark. This is what the color looks like. Ooh, creamy. My favorite lip liners are actually from Kylie. They're so smooth. This kind of feels like hers. The color, my type of color, like a good nude. I got the cream lipstick in nude three. I love the packaging of the lipsticks. It resembles and is very much like the powders and all the little face products. This is so aesthetically like yummy. And this is the color of the lipstick. It's like a peachy pink brown nude. Like, not too pinky, not too peachy, not too brown. Like, the perfect in-between shade. Everybody that I looked and watched all the reviews, this is the shade that everybody... 
yeah, this is me. Kind of smells like a crown. More like a color pencil. Pencil shavings. I don't. I really don't care. I, I really it doesn't bother me. Kylie's have a very strong like vanilla fragrance. It smells delicious. This it almost like has no smell to it. Like I said, it's like the perfect nude. I have a very like, olive yellow bronze go like golden undertone, and this. Oh my god. These can just go straight into my bag. I feel so bronzy. And you know her face always looks photoshopped. I feel like my face looks photoshopped and smooth and like not oily but very, very glowy and healthy. I'm actually obsessed. So guys, that is the end of my tutorial. I look very Kim K. Very fancy, very rich. You know, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe. I have a very big giveaway once we reach a thousand subscribers. Definitely share, comment, like, like post it, give it to your friends, tell your friends to subscribe and follow. Tell me what you think, what you've tried, if you like it or not, or do you just hate Kim Kardashian and you just don't want to try her product? You might be missing out. Just saying. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.